All right, so it's almost Halloween and I got a couple of pumpkins to do something I've never done before. Uh, I do want to take some pictures of the process and then some spooky pumpkin things with smoke bombs, that inconspicuous box there with the peacock smoke effects thing there. They're not sponsored, but I bought these because I could get these little smoke bombs, neon smoke bombs. Uh, and they do need a lighter, but I saved like 30 bucks in shipping because they're lit with the lighter. We're gonna carve pumpkins, which to be honest, I've never done before. <laughs> I had a horrible child childhood. Uh, I was an old man by the time I was 10. So I never, this is not something I've ever done before. I've seen it done and I've seen children do it. So how hard can it be? I bought some tools. I have a saw. I have an orange pen so I can draw out where I'm gonna cut out. And because it's orange, you won't see it. And then I bought a whole carving kit. Are you ready? And I'm also gonna be using the, um, the Rebel T1i to take some photos as well as the Canon R5 that you're on right now. Uh, to compare and see what sells and what doesn't sell for stock if you're interested in stock if you're just interested in Portraits and smoky cool effects. I have a couple of tips that might help you out as well. So Let's start cutting these out All right, so I've seen people cut out the top But I'm gonna cut out the bottom and leave the top solid so the smoke doesn't leak or at least I'll try that on this one I could always cut out the top if I need to All right, so Sharp knives for children, maybe not so much. No. Oh. Ew. Ah. These are the tools. This one's hollowed out. All right, now that we're done with that part of the surgery, now we can figure out what kind of design I wanna put on this thing. And I bought this book because it had some ideas, but I can't find one that I think will look good. I want like a classic smile, triangle kind of looking eyes. This one with the skeleton looks really cool, but I don't know, I want something classic and timeless, you know? Some of these go up and down. I have a lid for the bottom here so I can, seal it again so they maybe huh oh man this is terrible <laughs> oh that's so gross <laughs> uh. oh that's a crayon <laughs> all right the first design didn't turn out as, as i planned because it's too far apart so when i put the candle or the smoke in here it's just not gonna look like, anyway. Magic erasers, they do erase the crayon. All right, now that I feel like I need a shower, <laughs> <laughs> I'm all sticky and gross from this. Um, it took a lot longer than I expected. For now, I'm gonna bring the cube, the little white cube I have, and I'm gonna try to get some photos on a white background with the cutouts that I did as a prop, just so you can see what I cut, maybe a couple of the tools and then the pumpkin, and that should be a pretty good uh, like stock photo on a white background. Simple, isolated, you know, a couple of props here and there. But let me go get cleaned up and do something with these seeds because, uh, I don't want to waste them. Toasted pumpkin seeds are really good. All right, so the idea was to use the pop-up cubes, the five foot or the three foot, but that didn't work out because of lighting and how the, the sun is moving across the, the, the sky and the trees and everything. So I thought about using this. This is my gym. 
You can see it's got a white canvas roof and the lighting is pretty much perfect. I have a black background there and I also have my PVC backgrounds that I can use to take photos. Uh, so let me set this up. I have the T-stand here with a little bit of Gorilla Tape. I can set the lighting to be as good as it can be. And then I also have my Rebel T1i with the kit lens because I want to show you how to make the best out of gear like this. I'm also going to take pictures with the R5 because if anything goes wrong with these, which they usually do, then I can use the R5 photos to sell for stock. Uh, but let me set this up here real quick and then I'll be right back. Alright, so I got the Rebel here with the kit lens and one of the biggest things with these cameras is focus. So I recommend just going to live view, zoom in to where you have the composition you want. Let me get all the, the background here in dark. Uh, expose the photo in live view, that'll give you a good idea. Then zoom in times 10, you can see it here. I'm zoom in, even times 5 will be a good zoom. And then that's, this will let you focus in the right area. Manual focus, you see just a little movement, just changes it completely. Uh, the autofocus is tough, so if you just go by, by hand, you can get good focus. And then set the timer to two seconds. This will help you avoid any kind of movement here. So let's do a couple. Done, it looks good. The rest happens on the computer. And if you notice here my pumpkin, let me switch this. This side here is a little bit darker because of where the light is hitting. So I am gonna use the loom cube to fill in the light. But this white thing, look at how it changes the light. Any white paper can reflect light back onto the pumpkin. So whatever white, anything you have, paper, uh, roll like this, the PVC, That'll reflect light and fill the light where you need it. So easy. You don't have to complicate your setup. This is easy. You can get a few pictures. I'm going to switch over to the white background and do the same thing. And then we'll go and do the smoke bombs. And remember guys, if you're shooting for stock, try to capture the whole process as you're cutting. Try to set it up, clean it up as much as possible, and make as many photos of the subject as you can. This will give you more potential of generating sales and hopefully a good income from this photo shoot. Alright, so I came to the trail with the pumpkins, the smoke bombs, which like I said, I haven't used these. These are little smoke balls that only last about 30 seconds. Uh, for this, I'm going to be using a telephoto lens because every other time I've used smoke bombs, the smoke is a lot and not a lot. A telephoto is going to compress the background, making it fill the frame and looking fuller and nicer. The sunshine will light up the smoke and make it look better. And if there's too much smoke, I brought the leaf blower to keep control. I think this might be a really good spot here. There's some leaves, there's some color. I think it'll look good. Now these smoke bombs that I bought, like I said, they're from Peacock uh, Smoke Bombs something. <laughs> uh, these don't have a pull tab. You can get the ones with pull tab. These don't, these are, need a lighter. Uh, why isn't it working? There we go. These need a lighter to make them work. That's why they're a little bit cheaper and they ship uh, at a cheaper price. I saved like $30 in shipping because they don't have a pull tab. But because I have a lighter, let me show you a trick I learned. <laughs> That's awesome. I learned that from Peter McKenna and everyone. He does it a lot better than I did, but <laughs> Let's go Okay, so I got the camera on the ground because I want to put the pumpkin on the upper half of the image with the smoke going up and fill the frame with the out of uh, focus ground here. I think it looks really cool. Now I'm gonna go light up the smoke bomb. I have uh, the leaf blower here in case I need to push the smoke back. 
and then I have the other pumpkin so I can switch and do a couple of different photos. I also made a cigar that I put here somewhere uh, and see how that looks in one of the <laughs> one of the pumpkins. So, you know, anything goes. So let's see how this turns out and go from there. I have the remote so I don't have to touch the camera and fingers crossed, I haven't done this yet. So let's see what happens. Alright guys, so I think everything came out according to plan. When you're using smoke bombs, having a, a fan or a leaf blower or something that can push the smoke when it comes your way, I think is very helpful. Uh, keep that in mind next time you're doing any kinds of smoke bombs because the smoke can go in any, wherever the wind is blowing. And to push it back and be able to see the pumpkin, I think was really a good idea. I'm excited to go to the computer, process them and see what turned out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I can see that you're not gonna let up, are you? Oh, luckily this is only 20 seconds.